We're following up for you tonight. Losing a limb and having a long stay in the hospital would probably get an average person angry, especially when that situation was not their fault. But one Springs man says it's not worth it. He's just happy to be alive. Tonight, only on News 5, Colette Bordelon got to interview Michael Elmore for the first time in the hospital since that DUI crash after speaking with Sun on Tuesday. Colette. He's had four surgeries at this point and has been in the hospital bed for over a week now. But Elmore says it's all about staying positive and he's not mad at the suspect. Inside of UC Health Memorial Hospital <laughs> is one laugh that won't stop. Oh man, I'm blessed in so many ways. Michael Elmore lost his right leg, his left was shattered, vertebrae fractured, and much more. After police say he was hit by a suspected drunk driver last week while unloading equipment out of his work van. Being hit with what felt like Thor's hammer. I didn't know if I was living or dying. He says he must have gone into shock, and the memory's a little bit foggy. I could see a puddle of blood forming up under me, so I knew I was hurt really badly. Now this bassist is taking it one day at a time. Can I stand up? Well, the leg hurts too much today to stand up, so maybe tomorrow. He says he'll probably be in the hospital for a couple more weeks and is going to head to the rehab floor soon. Not arguing with reality, because reality is going to win the argument at the end of the day. We asked about Tara Studer, the woman police say hit him. Sure, I'd love to not have had this happen, but I'm not going to have a heart filled with, with hate about this for anyone, for any reason. An attitude his friends know and love. We appreciate all the fine work he's done on Fort Carson. All the people that I've met down there, it's been a wonderful thing for me. Between two GoFundMes and a benefit, Almore says around $30,000 have been raised. My situation is if I don't work, I don't have a paycheck. Medicaid is an insurance right now. He may have a long way to go. But I know that with uh, a little help from my friends, which I have a lot of, that uh, I'll get through somehow, some way. But he's not alone. The suspect here, Studer, is now out of jail after paying her $10,000 bond. Her next court date is on July 30th. Elmore says he's going to try and continue his business, Access Audio, by training a crew to help. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Colette Bordel on News 5.